welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Brandy. This is Creative Selections and we are talking about purpose and legacy. Yes, that's right. We're still in our goal, se goal setting series and I am so excited to be here today because this is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite video yet. We are going to be talking about paper resources. This is day 15 and I'm going to show you my planner. I'm in planner love. Okay. I am so excited to show you how I am going to transfer my legacy lamp into my planner and how I'm going to utilize that system to make my goals a reality. I'm so happy because I did a little research and I found this system on another YouTuber's channel. The YouTube channel is At Home With Kita and she is she can show you how to really work this system. So if you're ready to Franken plan, then that is customizing your planner to fit your needs, then let's go. Okay, so this is my planner and this is my legacy lamp. I'm going to show you um, how I put all of these categories into my planner. Um, and this is a Franken planning system where you customize your planner to fit your needs. Uh, this is a Happy Planner Deluxe Cover Wildflowers version. And um, it goes from July of 2017 to December of 2018. So it's an 18-month planner. Um, I have in here um, my folder. I keep some new uh, thank you cards and different things in here. Um, if I want to send a thank you card on the go. And then when I open it up, I also have some stickers to use um, on the go. And then this is... The first page here, the sticker book is. This is the first page, and then the monthly calendar. I mean, I'm sorry, the yearly calendar. And then over here, I have December, January, and February, but this is going to keep um, two months in it at a time. I just wanted to show you um, the layouts, um, the last week of December layout, which is more of a sticker planned out week. I haven't put any pen on this just yet. And then um, then you have on to January and this is my monthly layout for January 2018. So this is what I would keep all of my appointments and I would my monthly overview to see what is going on um, at a glance. And then we can get into like the first week of January. So I have a to-do section in here, which is a master to-do list. And I would um, transfer those things over to my to-dos, my business goals, and then what I'm, my appointments that I'm doing today. So that's kind of my calendar section. Then if you see at the top, I have a goal section, which goes straight over to the legacy lamp. Um, this is where my... Uh, uh, my legacy lamp would be housed and I am still put piecing this together and it should be ready by um, the new year but I'm still putting some things in here I have incorporated several different items in here but this is where I would do my faith planning um, and my goals for um, you know what I want to do in my spiritual goals that's where that would be. Then I would have over here like my personal goals. And my personal goals, um, I also incorporated like a, um, a vision board type of deal because I want to visually see my personal goals. And so one of my goals is to date my husband consistently um, in 2018. And so I have just a little vision board um, concerning him. Um, and then uh, family and home. I'm just going to skip around a little bit because I wanted to show you how I would incorporate um, uh, one of my personal goals is fitness. So this is just for um, our dating life. Then I have like my fitness section here. Um, which says fitness down here 
And then when I open it up, I've already set up my 2000, um, January, 2000, 2018 January with all of my goals, with my exercises. And um, also I have this in here, my daily things that I want to do every day. And then um, here I have my menu plan for the week that I still need to plan out. So every week I'm going to have my meal plan um, ready to go for each week. So that's what's um, in here. And that's what I like about the Happy Planner. You can create inserts for yourself. So that's what I have here in my um, fitness section. And that is a personal goal of mine. And then um, back to um, Kingdom Building, which is actually incorporated into my faith section. Here is where I'm going to have my Kingdom Building um, activities and events that we're going to do for the year. And then um, we're going to take it over to Family and Home, which if you can see that at the top it says Home. We'll just take it over to there uh oh it's getting a little tight in here <laughs> and then this is another like vision board that will keep me inspired pictures of my family um and keep me um focused on them and their needs and so in here this is my tab family i'm going to have a a page for each child so that i can see what they're doing what they need to be doing and different things like that um, then we can go to financial, which is my budget section. And this will say January because this is for the month of January. And then this is my budget already planned out for the month. Um, what bills are due when. And then I have, this is my snapshot. And then on here I've created um, two um, sheets that would drill down um, the monthly budget and also another sheet that would drill down our expenses. So that's um, something that I designed and created for my planner. Um, and if we go back to um, my personal section, I have created um, this section, which would, uh, it says do all the things. I created this paper. Um, for my planner and basically I uh, designed and created this and basically I would list date nights and then list put a list of date nights that I want to do throughout the year and then on the back I might do something different here so that would be that and then this is just my business section um, to help me to stay on track with um, creative selections so that's everything in a nutshell in my planner I um, will be going through this step by step as we applicate in this paper resource and really try to um, line it up with our digital resource as well so that we can plan um, well for 2018. So that's going to be our next set of goals. And, um, you know, you can use what you have. You do not have to go out and get, you know, a whole bunch of things to plan with. Um, you can just, you know, accumulate things as you go, but this is what I had and this is what I'm using and some of this is um, put together and there are other things that I really want to get, but right now I want to use what I have so I am not um, without something and I am going forward, moving forward and focused in the new year in my system. So let's get to planning. I am so excited and thank you so much for watching. Well, I hope that you really, really enjoyed this video. It was a pleasure um, to really dig into um, how I set up my planner for 2018. And I am so excited because in the days to come in this series, we are going to be applicating all that we have learned. So get your digital, your visual, your paper resources together. Let's combine them. Let's bring them all together with your legacy lamp so that we can get focused. Thank you so much for being with me today. 
I thank you so much for continuing to watch in the series. I ask that you just continue to um, bring those people with you that may need help in their goal setting and applying these principles. So just bring them along for the ride and just let them know 2018 is going to be phenomenal. We are going to win in 2018. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please, 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 by all means, ring that bell so you don't miss any future updates. God bless. Thank you.